Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite girl, A. Marie. And today we're gonna be doing a green eyeshadow makeup tutorial. So you guys, I did pick up these cute babies right here from Car Beauty. And I showed you guys this on my Instagram and my Snapchat. And then I did a poll over on my community tab here on YouTube. And you guys voted for this bad boy to be the first eyeshadow look I use. Now, if you don't know, they are still on sale as we speak. It has the three palette sets and they together as a bundle are $36. Now, Cara Beauty palettes, I think this is like the smoke session palettes which are in theme of you know here's what the shades are looking like you guys now i am gonna go through and swatch every last one of the colors for you guys and then we're gonna jump off into the eye look Do you guys see anything different so far with filming and maybe for the person that gets it gets it right will get a free gift from me comment down below what you think is different in this video comment your instagram so that i can dm you if you want we're gonna do row by row so sticky icky gango chronic clear eyes cannabis weed blaze it dub mary jane pothead kush take it stoner puff puff hybrid and high so just from starters just by looking at the palette first of all i never heard of cara beauty i learned cara beauty from trend mood and i will have trend moods linked down below where they advertise cara beauty and i use trend moods discount code so this video is not sponsored or anything like that i bought it i wanted to try it i wanted to bring it to you guys so with it being said that i bought this with my own money as you could tell in the swatches they are not the best a lot of them have a lot of fallout a lot of them are very patchy i could see myself doing a look with this as well as i could see myself creating a colorful look whether it's in the green family or the blue family i like the the color story of the palette so i did pull out my bh cosmetics glitter collection this one is in lime green and then i pulled out my my watch me sparkle loose glitter and this one doesn't have a shade but it's a bunch of greens and yellows and blue so I thought maybe I could create a look using these glitters, but now I don't know if I'm gonna actually need it. Now I do know I wanna take take it with the Morphe M05, M507 brush. So, so far this color is not as dark as it swatches. Y'all let me know down in the comments how y'all like to apply y'all eyeshadows. Cause I like to stamp. So I don't know if y'all could tell, but I could tell in real life that the take it dark blue color is like when you blend it out, it's kind of changing into a green. And I think that's pretty cool. I don't know if I want to try a dub or a puff puff. I think I'm going to go in with Puff Puff with that same brush. I did use my color switch by Sephora to dust off that take it. I'm getting right at the crease of right on the outer edge of take it. And I'm just patting it in for right now. And I'm not taking Puff Puff all the way over like I did take it because I want to blend a different color in the front. We're going to try to use as many colors as possible. And if y'all are new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now, as well as click the notification bell. When you hit the notification bell, make sure you turn your bell selection to all. That way you will be notified when all of my videos do come up. And I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, sometimes Sunday. So if you haven't already, girl, what are you doing? 
go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And just to let you guys know, I have a very hard time with my eyes being cousins, not even sisters. So no way that they would ever be twins. So I just try my best to do the same. But as we could tell, this one comes out further than this one. This one's more of a cat eye. This one's more of a moon shape. Y'all, my eyes always want to do what they want to do. And then I'm going to go in with Dove at the beginning of my eye shape right here. And I want to kind of keep them all close together. I'm using the same 504. Oh, look at that color. And this is a 507. I'm sorry. I keep saying 504. But I don't have multiple of these brushes. That's why I like to color switch. So this color looks like it's going to pop. So we are going to place it right on the lines of Take It. dip it a little bit lower really can't even tell the difference yet so now I'm gonna switch over to another brush and I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna use this one the Morphe M562 brush and I think I'm going to dip off into weed and I think I want to kind of blend out the edges of puff puff so I want to get right here and blend out those edges. Gonna kind of blow it out, but we're not gonna take it all the way to the brow bone. And I have a little fallout on my face, if you can see it. So right off in here, but it's okay to me. I could just wipe it off and keep it pushing. Okay, so now that we got that on, we're going to color switch again. <laughs> Telling you guys, I love using this color switch. I really need to give me another one. But we're going to take Ganga, which is the brightest yellow, and we're going to put it all in this area. Ooh, y'all see how much fallout that one is? Okay, let's pat first. Oh, that's a lot of fallout. That's a lot of damn fallout. <laughs> oh, goodness. And then I just threw a brush. I didn't mean to, but let's try to get some of this off. Okay, so I want to get fun and creative. Just a little bit. We're going to try to cut our crease. I seen this trick where you use makeup remover and I don't have no makeup remover. <laughs> I seen a trick if you use the Q-tip to help cut your crease that it will make it easier. Okay, I'm going to take some of my P. Louise Rumor number no. 5 base. I kind of messed up the cut creases, but you guys, this is my first time trying it this way i did use a baby wipe to clean it up and now i'm gonna try to fix it i'm using my beauty of jewels cosmetics flat brush and i do want to try kiki adams trick for cut crease cut crease brushes but i actually threw out my nyx glitter glue so i have to wait to i can get to a store to repurchase some glitter glue and then i'm gonna try the cut crease brush trick so we're gonna try to cut this crease as best as possible that's the closest I could get them they're not whatsoever sisters maybe if I do stoner very lightly on the eye it'll come out 
not so dark. And I am using my finger just because, oh you guys, this could have been a great St. Patrick's Day look. I am gonna take a little bit of high and blend it in on the edges just to deepen it up a little bit. But what do y'all think so far? So right now we're looking just a tad bit cray cray, but we're gonna go in with a little bit of high and we're gonna blend in this edge right here. And I don't want a lot, I just wanna deepen it up, but not enough to make it black black. Boom. So I wasn't gonna do liquid liner, but I do kinda wanna do it now. So we're gonna get the trusty, dusty NYX matte liner. And I'm gonna try to do a thick, long wing. Let's go over to the Wet n Wild liner because I think that one just about had it. Okay, so I do wanna take my finger and dip into Pothead and tap that on top of tap that on top of the green I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did take, is it charging? I did take Sticky Icky and put it in my tear ducts. I did take Clear Eyes and rub it just a little bit on the brow bone. If y'all hear my kids in the background, sorry. I can tell you the pressed glitters are really hard to work with because they're so putty and jelly-like. It makes it really hard to mess around with, but we are going to move on to the face really quickly 10 hour wear foundation and this one is in the shade pecan and i'm gonna use my boxycharm iconic london illuminizer and this one doesn't actually have a shade it just says illuminizer so i am gonna mix the two. Oh, i did use the benefit professional hydrating primer you guys this came in my boxycharm two for the month of april And there you have it, you guys. That is the completed look. So how do y'all feel about the Girl Scout cookie? No, not the Girl Scout cookie. The Girl Scout eyeshadow palette by Cara Beauty. Y'all, I used almost every shade in the palette. And that was the goal to try to use every single shade. And I think I could play around with it some more and get some more love out of it. It's not a bad palette and it's not the best palette. Like I said, the glitters are a little sticky -icky and they're a little hard to work with. But you guys, I think I killed the look. What do you think? Comment your thoughts down below. Let me know if you're going to pick up this palette. Let me know which eyeshadow palette to go with next. I have 
orange pop and I have purple haze. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and in the words of my loyal subscriber, y'all keep shining and I will catch y'all in the next one.